Hello YouTubers, wanted to do a quick update on the uh, rocket stove, uh, rocket fireplace, if you will. Uh, got the thermal siphoning worked. Should have known that the thermal siphoning wasn't going to push it up to that level because it's only can push it as far as the weight that has above it in water plus a little bit and that's just too far. I could set up a separate thermal siphoning system between there, those two barrels and work. I'm going to get up here and try to show you a shot of this thermal siphoning actually work. That's the point of this video, is to show this thermal siphoning system working. Get up here, pull my lid out. Oh, I got steamed up there. You see that stream of See it coming? There she be. She's thermal siphoning. No moving parts. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid back on it. Put this complicated insulation system I got back up. Okay, so I want to give you some burn times. We ran a full load today. And I mean a full load. Uh, and the full load, stuff full, run us one hour. And one hour, we had 95% of, of our stuff gone, but it's still enough flame where we could keep it going and reload. So a full load lasts one hour. A full load went from, uh, water temperature went from uh, 64 degrees to 134 degrees in a full load. That's with the draft plate on. Uh, draft plate on seems to slow it down. The draft plate off, it seems to pull a little more air and actually get a little hotter. Uh, I wanted to walk you outside and show you the outside burn to see what kind of show you what kind of fire we got in there right now, which is not just a barn burner. Mike, you want to stoke that up when I go out here when I come back, uh, have it full, will you? I want to go out here and give you a quick look at the what kind of smoke we got. There's your chimney. No smoke. No matter what level the burn's at, we just can't get it to smoke. At all. It's extracting pretty well. Its extraction efficiency is pretty good. Okay, we're gonna run you back inside. <clears throat> I want you to hear it from the owner's mouth. We're back in. Mike, I got a few questions for you. Can you verify that uh, we built that stove to Ian Sorrento specification and in actuality we exceeded it where he said you could exceed it and make the draft better? We did those things, didn't we? And that stove backdraft, didn't it? And how often did you have to load? About every 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 to 20 minutes. And it would take you, what, a couple, two, three hours to be able to burn it long enough to get it up to temperature where it would maintain, right? So I wanted to show you guys a little thing I did here in the floor. Here's a pile right here on the right side <clears throat> that you can get into a rocket stove, six inch burn chamber. Here's a burn size burn pile you can get into my rocket fireplace. And I want to even look at it as compared to burning in a drum. I want to tell you that, that this wood here has probably got about 6,000 BTUs in it per pound. A hard wood at less than 10% has, at less than 10% moisture has a about eight to eight thousand and this is not hardwood and it's not that moisture content so sticks and stuff at less density don't have as much that pile on the right's about two pounds at six thousand BTUs per pound is about a twelve to fifteen thousand BTU pile the pile on the left 
is about 15 pounds to 20 or 15 to 18 pounds. It has between 90,000 and 110,000 BTUs in that. So even if the burn on the right hand side was 100% and you got all 12,000 and the burn on the left was only 70% efficiency, out of 70% efficiency, the pile on the left would still give 63,000 BTUs delivered versus 12,000 BTUs on the right if it was 100% absolute getting the burn. So, wanted to make that point there. This configuration with the brick, it, it drafts better. It, uh, it burns four to five times longer per load. The uh, practicality of being able to load a big load when you get up and then load one more load at, before you leave and being able to maintain the temperature throughout the day is what uh, spurred us to do this. Uh, my opinion is it can be a little bit bigger. I wouldn't mind being able to do it so I could uh, get up in the morning and load it at 6 and then come home in the evening and do it again at 6 in the evening and not have to worry with it. I will uh, give you a shot of the water temperatures real quick to show you what the water temperatures are. Uh, up here once again. Uh, one one full load in the barrel on the hour load went from 64 degrees to 134 degrees on the water and the water sitting right here right now hundred and forty eight point eight is what we got on 150 uh, five gallon drum it's very not insulated so there is proof that the thermal siphoning is working uh, you've heard it from the owner that it's a better stove than uh, the traditional rocket stove design. Uh, I say it is too. Okay guys, thanks for watching.